was my junior year in college. Easily my wildest year in college. As a matter of fact, it was dubbed the wild year by my best friend. If you'd like, you'd call it my wild phase. If you subscribe to that sort of shit anyway. I really only had one real close friend during undergrad and we did everything together, especially during wild year. An entire calendar year dedicated to debauchery and no limit wild adventuring. All we wanted to do was meet new people and do outside the box different shit. We'd go to parties, kickbacks, concerts, shows, protests, whatever. Just not stay in the dorm. And for the love of God, not see a goddamn soul from the dorms, cause no. Each time we go out, we get wasted and have a great time, but the party didn't really start until we actually left the party. We had this really dangerous game we loved to play when we left an event, laughing in the streets, stumbling over our heels. We'd always walk out and go straight to the first car we saw and ask the man driving, Hey, oh my god, are you our Uber? With a big smile on both of our faces, giggling. We never actually ordered or needed an Uber. We just wanted to see what would happen. Now, before you say it, yes, I understand. This is wildly irresponsible. But ask yourself, does it not sound fun as hell? Bitch, we're cute. Of course they always said yes. They literally never said no. Ever. Anyway, one day during peak wild year hours, we decided to leave this house party around midnight. The party? Lukewarm at best, and we were only two blocks away from my apartment. It would have been the easiest stroll home, but it was wild year, so the night was far from over. Refusing to waste two undeniably sexy outfits on a trash night, we walk out of the venue straight over to a black sedan parked out in front and ask the guy driving, Oh my god, are you our Uber? His eyes lit up so big I could see the heart emojis in him. He might as well have been drooling. <laughs> Got that ass. We hop into the car and he just stares at us. And then we stare at him. Then my best friend blurts out, Oh, we forgot about Gretchen. She's on the porch. He drives us back to my apartment where my friend is sitting on the steps waiting. Girl, whose car is this? We don't know, bitch. Get in. The four of us sit in the car looking at each other, laughing every other second until he eventually decides to take us to a cookout he'd heard about. Now, we weren't really dressed for a cookout as much as we were for a music video, but fuck it, we'll make it work. We get to the house and it's a fucking mansion. Honestly, one of the biggest houses I've seen. Me and my girls give each other glances like we hit the jackpot. We make it all the way up the driveway and walk in only to realize we just crashed a family gathering. And not only did we crash it, we were excited to be there. Hey, what's up everybody? Oh my god, I love the music in here. The people couldn't look any more confused, and I'm certain we were all so drunk we couldn't possibly care any less. This was around the time I looked for our fake Uber driver and realized that he had disappeared in the night. Seriously, I never saw him again after that. A random man then walks up to us and asks if we want to tour the house. Uh, it's wild here. Of course we do. So now we're perusing all 2,000 rooms of this house. My guess is he wanted to have sex with one of us, but was waiting for us to be impressed, and honestly, we just wanted to drink more. You got any drinks? He takes us to where the bar was, and we go there, and there's so much food, but we can't touch it until the kids eat. Did I mention there were kids? There were kids. Children were at this event. Anyways, the last thing I remember was more drinking and asking one of the kids for a hug. He gave me that hug. I remember that. It was so cute. That was my favorite part of the night, actually. After that, I woke up in my bed, though. Now that I think about it, I'm not exactly sure how I made it back home. I don't know how to do the vlog.